pros and cons of WordPress, only for you and for your business. Here you'll find free tutorials, free articles, free reviews, expert knowledge, and marketing strategies provided to you by Alexander and others, only at studywp.com. So in this tutorial, I want to tell you a little bit more about WordPress application benefits, how easy it is to manage, how to work with posts, that you can submit them through app or through email, useful plugins for WordPress and SEO for your website. Besides that, WordPress is free. Now, WordPress application benefits include simplicity and updates, multiple admins and writers. You can log in from any computer and you can password protect any page. You can schedule your posts or news or updates. Now, WordPress accounts for almost 20% of all websites and it has many responsive themes and designs. It's also social media friendly. It has many social plugins. You can submit social media comments and it's definitely a better choice for your SEO for your search engine optimization there are tons of SEO plugins and some of them are free now to log into your WordPress you can just go to your website name dot com or dot org slash WP dash admin enter your username and password once you have your WordPress make sure to change your username from generic admin to something unique so here I just want to introduce you to some WordPress features and some of them are posts, categories, media files, links, pages, comments and others. You can also find on WordPress free themes and they can save you money. Or if you found your favorite design and you want to upload it then you just click add new, upload a theme, choose file but it has to be in a zip format, make sure. now. Um, if you choose to find a free theme, you can go and start searching for them or you can click advanced search, select by color or style, depending on what you're looking for. Then you would just install the theme and click activate. That's about it. That's as simple as that. Just click activate. Categories, pages and widgets. Now here I want to talk about widgets and widgets generated automatically through WordPress application. They can be placed in any order, you can place them in a footer and there are many plugins available for widgets. You can customize your widgets, make them unique, attractive or you could connect your social media. Here I want to talk to you about creating posts and it's very simple. You can see it's as simple as using a word program word documents you can also create your own categories and trade them instantly here with a new update um, but I want to remind you once you install WordPress there'll be category called uncategorized and you want to change that immediately before it gets indexed so make sure you change that to a proper category and uh, try to write descriptions for everything on your WordPress because it would help your SEO try to include some keywords or just basic description it would help your website